historic horrors. What's all this archaic anatomy in aid of? Here's something stranger than science fiction. Prehistoric fact, recreated by model maker Arthur Hayward, who specializes in dinosaurs, those giant lizards of so many million bygone days. Plaster of Paris bandage on a wire frame makes the mold for a lifelike, scaled-down, 80-ton Diplodocus that last walked the Jurassic swamps of a dark and misty world 10 million years before mankind. Here's some objects, gorgeous gargantuans and authentic, because though they died out so long ago, their fossil bones remain, so we know just what they were like and can even sculpt them into still, or rather, extinct life. And these models can shake off their petrified past and walk the land again. Mr. Hayward works in London's Natural History Museum, where you can see the remains of the real thing. He's made a profitable home hobby out of model making. His tiny beasts are used for such epics of primeval cinematic adventure as one million years BC. Blown up on the big screen, they become 40-foot monsters that must be accurate to the last crease and crinkle in their hard reptilian hides. So Mr. Hayward has to keep his eye in. Molds within molds for the thickest skinned beasts that ever lived. Reproducing working models of their mammoth limbs is a delicate job. And the core of the problem is solved with a flexible skeleton, an exact solid rubber replica that's jointed just the same as the genuine giants. A miniature mummy fossilized, not by a Paleozoic ooze or subterranean slime, but latex whisked in a kitchen mixer. When the latex solidifies into rubber around the tiny skeleton, it makes a model that can be moved into any position and then photographed in the same exacting way as cartoon animation. So the camera recreates the monstrous movements of Crustaceous carnivores. Orgontosaurus, Diplodocus and Tyrannosaurus live. Preposterous enormities.